up guys, Vince the Longineer here. I'm back at the project lawn. Today we're going to be doing some dethatching, so stay tuned. Alright guys, so this one's going to be a long video, just a heads up. I really appreciate you tuning in to watch this episode, but I just want to show you exactly how it is, what's going on. There's lots of time lapse of uh, dethatching, and then picking up all of the clippings. There's a pre pretty long segment of me applying some Roundup. I have timestamps along the bottom here. So if you just want to scroll along to the segment that you're most interested in, you could do that. Um, I hope you guys enjoy this video. All right, so for today's video, we're gonna be using the Earthwise DT71613 dethatcher. Uh, I just picked this up from Amazon. I just recently did an unboxing of this and this is my first time using it. So I'm over here at the project lawn. We've got about uh, 10,000 square feet. I'm um, in the backyard right now. This is about 1,600 square feet. So we're going to go and uh, dethatch this area and then uh, dethatch the areas in the front yard. So the lawn was just recently mowed and um, I've asked the landscaper to um, take it down a notch so that we can get a little bit closer to the soil surface. So in some areas of the yard, it's a little bit scalloped, it's brown, um, and that's okay because we're gonna be doing a complete renovation here. Um, and uh, part of today is just kind of getting all that thatch up from, from that soil layer. So on the Earthwise here, I actually have it set to um, the middle, uh, which is at the tines come in contact with uh, basically at zero inches or right at the ground level. So what we're gonna, I'm gonna start with that. We're gonna see how that goes and if I need to make an adjustment, go a little bit deeper or bring it up a bit, um, I'll do that. So as you can see, I just did one pass and filled up the basket here. Uh, some of this too is uh, actually from the clippings from the mow. I mean, this was mowed literally like an hour ago. But look at that. I'm gonna have to get a bucket and put this in. This is going to take a while. So the bag works well. It actually does do a good job of collecting everything. Um, however, there is so much thatch that it literally fills up in like one and a half passes. So I think I'll be able to save more time having this off and then coming back with a mower or something later to pick all of the thatch up. So I was able to do about half of the back of the yard here. So you can see, let's take a look. Let's get 
down close here. You can see all this thatch here that came up. It's a pretty good amount, but I'm not really getting all the way down to the soil. Um, this yard is just a little too bumpy. And so, yeah, I'll get it when I'm on a high spot, but when I'm in the low spots, it's not picking up so much. So you can see like in this area here is more of a lower spot here. There's not too much here to pick up, but in the higher spots around here, you can see there's a lot more. Um, so I'm gonna drop it down a notch um, and then I'm gonna do the other side of the yard over here and show you the difference so we can compare the two. actually have uh, some storms coming in um, here to thunder in the distance but I was able to get a few passes in on this side and you can see just one notch lower there's a considerable difference it's making more contact with the soil and uh, yeah I think that's the, the, the setting we're gonna we're gonna be at that's at the, the minus five millimeter mark or like 0 0.2 inches um, so we're gonna keep it at that for right now. And if we need to, um, I think the plan, we're gonna come back to this when the weather's better, but uh, I think the plan is, you know, kind of go in this direction first and then go in that direction again and go over it once more, just to make sure we, we pick up all of that thatch because that's gonna be critical to get seed to soil contact as part of this renovation. Um, so I'll get this stuff cleaned up. It's actually starting to rain, so now all the thatch is gonna be wet. I can't let it sit on the ground. All right, guys, we are back in the project lawn. Last time we were here, we attempted to start dethatching uh, with the Earthwise dethatcher. Uh, we kind of got rained out, so uh, we're back here again a few days later to continue with that. Uh, we will do that for today for sure, but we are also going to be addressing uh, weeds uh, within the mulch beds here behind these plants. Um, this is along the side yard here. We're also going to be doing the inside of the fence here within this portion of the backyard. Uh, well, let's go take a look. All right, so all this right here used to be a mulch bed. Now you can see it's infested with weeds, crabgrass, clover, a bunch of stuff. We're gonna clean that out as much as we can. So we got some more over here. We're gonna create basically a nice border around this entire backyard here. Here's a bunch of weeds in here. A bunch of the weeds have just completely taken over. So we're gonna we're gonna clean all of this up. Uh, and for today's application, we're actually gonna use glyphosate. And uh, yeah, it's pretty overwhelming here. We also have a bunch of weeds in the stone areas here that we're gonna spray. And we also have a few crack weeds in the back here. We'll take care of those as well while we're at it. So again, focus on today is continuing the dethatching. Um, but first, we're gonna put down the weed killer. Okay, so to get started with the glyphosate, we are gonna be using this product here called High Yield Super Concentrate Kills All. Weed and grass killer. This is 41% glyphosate and also contains a surfactant, so we do not need to add any surfactant. Um, we only need to mix two and a half ounces of this per gallon of water. Uh, if you were doing blanket applications, that would only cover about 300 square feet. Uh, we're going to be doing spot applications like in the cracks here and along the perimeter of the inside of the fence like we talked about earlier and so um, we're going to just go a gallon at a time here if we need to mix more we'll mix more so let's get started all right so let's fill this up with one gallon of water it's up to about here 
can't see it on the camera, but this is the one gallon mark. All right, and then we're gonna use two and a half ounces of the glyphosate. So I've got my little measuring cup here. Just be careful. Make sure you wear your appropriate PPE. Give it a good shake. And we're ready to get sprayed. So we just sprayed for all of the weeds around the perimeter and all the, uh, the mulch beds, the stone beds over here, also around the fence. We've sprayed with the glyphosate. Um, it's getting really hot out here. I'm done with spraying. I took, uh, took my long sleeve shirt off, got my hat on because we're going to be moving to dethatching, picking up where we left off the last time we were here. Um, I am not bagging this time. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna take the bag off, I'm just gonna let the thatch lay on the grass. We'll come back later with uh, the mower and we'll pick it up using the, the, the bag on the mower. Hopefully that'll make things go a little bit faster, a little bit easier. And um, all right, so let's get started.
Okay, so we finished up in the back here with the dethatching. I'm gonna come around with the mower and pick all this up, but this is kind of where we left off last time before the storms rolled in. So there really wasn't that much more thatch back here. So I'm gonna take this as my second pass back here. I plan on doing two passes in the front. If you remember, we talked about doing a north-south pass and then an east-west pass to make sure that we get everything. Um, looking down here a little bit closer, you can see there's still a little bit of thatch here. It's not too bad. There's still plenty of soil right there. Um, but I think this really did a good job of getting most of it off. And here you can see the machine actually got down to the soil layer and you can see where it's scarified. Uh, that's going to be perfect for planting new, new grass seed. Um, so let's grab the mower and clean all of this up. All right, so here's the mower we're using today. This is my uh, old Cub Cadet SC500Z. Had the caster wheels on the front. Uh, this was 159cc. Uh, it was a little bit too weak for my lawn, so I gave it to my in-laws here um, to use whenever they need to. They do have a service come uh, weekly to do mowing, but um, you know, if my father-in-law ever wanted to enjoy the mow on his own, he could with this. It's a perfect uh, mower for, for this type of lawn. It's not too thick, and this mower will cut it nice and clean. So, And for today, we're going to try it on the highest setting to pick up all this thatch. Alright, one pass. 
on this side with the dethatcher. I actually had it on its, uh, on its lowest setting. Uh, and it bogs down in some areas, but most of this is pretty thin. So it's, it's definitely loosened up. Um, but there's nothing for it to like lay on top of, so it just kind of falls back down on itself. Now in this area here, it starts to get a little bit thicker. And you can see that it's really picked it up and it's just laying on top of the grass. So um, I may need to cut low with the mower to pick up what we've got over here. We'll see. Uh, I'll probably drop it down one or two notches um, and then see how that does for us. So let's go do that. So I just uh, finished picking up all, all the thatch on this side of the yard. Uh, I also just received word that we've got some thunderstorms coming in again. But I'm going to go in the east-west direction now on this side, finish up this side, jump over to the other side, try to get as much of that as I can done. I really want to get this done today before the storms roll in. So I just finished picking everything up on this side of the yard uh, and we're actually under a tornado watch so I think I'm going to pack things up for today. All I have left is the other side of the yard here that's about 5,000 square feet and uh, between the dethatching, the mowing on this side of the yard, inside the fence and doing the little bit of uh, glyphosate that I did. Um, that took me almost all day. I mean, I got here at 9.30 in the morning and it's about 4.30 right now in the afternoon. So I think I got a pretty good full day's worth of work in here. But let me show you kind of what things look like. It's very thin, very bare. Um, but you can see we're, we're, down to, we're down to soil here, which is good. That's exactly what we want. Um, I was on the very, the lowest, I was on the lowest setting of this machine and this, th this thing, uh, held up like a champ. I mean, I pretty much had it going, uh, full speed, uh, without stopping for like an hour straight at a time. So, um, there were a few areas where it's a little bit thicker in the back over there where it bogged down a little bit, but, um, it ended up powering through. It never shut down on me. It never stopped spinning on me. It kept powering through. It just bogged down a little bit. But uh, you can see, I mean, it did a pretty good job of getting us down to the soil layer. Now, keep in mind, this yard has never been dethatched in its lifetime. So there's quite a bit of stuff here. Um, it is fairly thin, but we're going to turn that around. So uh, the next time I come back out here, I'll take care of that side and we'll do the Tenacity app and take care of the sedge hammer. But I think I'm gonna call it for this episode. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and thank you for joining.